Hello everyone, Greg Wilkins here on Saturday, February 27th, 2021 for today's edition of the Song of the Day devotional. It's a very special episode of the Song of the Day. It is episode 200 and I thank you all so much for your support and for your uh, participation in watching this devotional ministry. Uh, very, very, very quickly, uh, a couple of shout outs to my co-executive producers, Kathy McMillan and Don Robinson, who encouraged me to keep putting this forward and to share this ministry with as many people who would love to listen to it. And especially a big shout out to my big sister, Dawn, who encouraged me to expand it to social media in the first place. I hope, I pray that you and David are doing well. God bless you. I thank you both for your support. And that's why I made you co-executive producers, whether you wanted to be or not. <laughs> uh, and I thank you all for your support. Uh, a very good, quick shout out to my, my family, my dad, my brothers, Reggie and Adrian, and my entire family. I don't want to leave anybody out, but, and especially my church family, the Greater Bible Way Tabernacle Miracle Temple, for all your prayers, for all your support. I really, really appreciate it. Today's devotional is entitled, I've Been There. Mr. Jones, as he's known across the, the neighborhood, but he goes by Mr. W because his first name is Walter and runs a convenience store. And during these pandemic times, it's been really tough trying to keep any business open, but he's doing his best to try to keep everything together and still trying to make enough money to support him and his family. But he's been dealing with a rash of teenagers who have been coming in and stealing whatever they could and, and all this stuff. And there's one in particular teenager is about 14 who comes in every day and manages to get away with some stuff. But he catches them a couple of times and he's reported them in and, and, but he keeps on coming. And this one particular time he comes in and he wears a larger than normal coat and he, he gets a couple loaves of bread and he goes back and gets some cold cuts from the, the refrigerator part. And Mr. W catches them and he's like, hey, hey, what are you doing? Didn't I tell you the next time I catch you, you're gonna regret it. And he pulls them by his ear out the back door. And when he's out of view of, he thought everybody, he leaned down and whispered to him, so next time, don't let me catch you. And he pats him on the head and he sends him on his way. One of the customers saw what he did and said, dude, what'd you do that for? We're all struggling during this time. He's stealing from you, man. Why are you gonna let him get away with that? And you looked at him and was like, when I was his age, my mama just died and my dad walked away. So I'm staying in foster homes who weren't really taking care of me. And I had to resort to the same thing to survive to eat. So I know where he's been. Sometimes you got to show people some compassion and some love during these tough times. Like you said, we're all going through. So why not help each other instead of just putting each other down? Today, I want to focus on today's song of the day, which is Your Grace and Mercy by the Mississippi Mass Choir. And, um, uh, Performer and uh, singer Lonnie Hunter said it this way. There's grace and mercy. Grace is getting more than what you deserve. Mercy is not exactly getting what you do deserve. I don't care how good we've been in our lives. It is not the, by any goodness of our own that we've gotten to where we are and that we succeeded to the level we have. It is nothing but the grace and mercy of God, which is renewed every day. He, we can go by the grace he's given us last week. We can go by the mercies he's given us last month, but he loves us so much that he renews his grace and mercy towards us every day. And without his grace and mercy, there is no way we could be anywhere. We may not be where we want to be, but thank God we are not where we were. We are not headed to the way we were going because of his grace and his mercy every day. And I think of episode 200 and I think of those early episodes where I wasn't pointing the camera exactly right way and people were getting views on the top of my head and the views of the ceiling and views of wherever else and I've come this way. And it's by the grace and mercy of God to help me, to help me stay with it and to keep on going. You've got something to share. Keep on going. Time's going to be tough, but with my grace, it's sufficient for you. And he reminds us of that every day. He reminds us that his strength is made perfect in our weakness. So we should rejoice greatly knowing that when we are down, his strength is more than enough to get us through. And all the things we have done, we have fallen short so many times. His mercy is, is given to us and extended to us because he loves us that much. So I encourage you on today to not be so quick to put down everybody. My founding pastor, Bishop Randolph Jackson always said the only time you look down on the person is when you reach down to pick them up. 
Show them some love. Show them some grace and mercy that's been, that's been passed on to us on today. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you so much for the grace and the mercy that you give to us every morning. That's how great your faithfulness is to us. We thank you and we love you and we adore you on this day. So Lord, we decide on today to extend grace and mercy to everyone we meet because you extended it to us. You, we are blessed to be a blessing and Lord, we will pass on that blessing in Jesus name. Amen. Got some birthdays on February 27th. Happy birthday to a very talented young man, a good classmate of mine from high school. Happy birthday, Eric Hartman. Happy birthday to another talented lady who was just a phenomenal colleague of mine. Happy birthday, Holly Hendricks. And while we're connected to the Chapman High School link, happy birthday to a very, very talented young lady and a great student and a great teacher in her own right. Happy birthday, Caroline Bates. I hope you're doing well. And happy birthday to another phenomenal friend. Happy birthday, Kenneth Belcher. I hope you all have a very blessed birthday. May heaven smile upon you and enjoy your birthday to the best of your ability. If you have any birthday shout outs you would like to send me or any song requests or uh, birthday shout outs. I just said that I did that yesterday, too, <laughs> or any comments in general, or maybe you have a performance, whether you sing or play or whatever, or maybe it's a poem or whatever. Any kind of performance you would like to submit to you be used as the song of the day. You may do so by leaving a message underneath this video, wherever you're watching on social media. Or you can send me a note on Facebook Messenger or send me an email at glwilkins78 at outlook.com. I'll get back to you as fast as I can. If you enjoyed today's devotional video, please hit the like button. And if you know someone who may be blessed by today's video, feel free to share it with them. I hope you are blessed by today's uh, song of the day devotional. I really love you all. I really appreciate you all, whether this is episode one, episode 53 or episode 200 that you're watching. I thank you so much. God gets all the glory in all this. I pray that it's been a blessing to you. I pray and I strive that this will continue to be a positive and encouraging part of your day on social media. Enjoy today's song of the day, Your Grace and Mercy by the Mississippi Mass Choir. Take care and God bless. Just didn't do